and welcome or welcome back to Booktube with Amy. Today is going to be my next sustainable book box unboxing. So I'm actually really excited to talk to you about the company that I've purchased this box from today. They're the first company the entire time that I've done this series where like I've really been genuinely buzzing about like and I couldn't wait to talk to you guys about them and I was really excited to receive a box from them and I found them through Jennifer over at Jennifer Loves Books whose channel I will link down below. She had suggested them to me quite earlier on when I was doing this series and added them to my list and it was finally time to get around to it and Jennifer gets their monthly subscription and I believe through what I've seen really quite enjoys the books that she receives. So the company I'm talking about today is Gently Used Book Club. So they have a couple of different options. You can sign up to their monthly box like Jennifer does and you receive however many books you would like that month, different prices wide range of genres or you can select a gift box to purchase a one-off box for yourself which is what I've done today and you get four, bo four books in the gift box and again you get to pick your genre from whatever you would like. I have chosen fantasy today. Um, they do have YA fantasy options, they did have horror options but I feel like my last two have been horror and we did a full year of YA so I know jump into some fantasy but they do have like contemporary historical fiction, literary fiction, loads of different genres for you to pick from if fantasy isn't your bag. I just want to take the time to talk to you a wee bit about this company before I actually open the box. So the service that I have received from Gently Used Book Club so far has been absolutely excellent. Like the best service that I've received for any of the book boxes that I've purchased in this series. Bailey is scampering in to see what I'm opening because we also got him a with box subscription that comes in a similar box. He's going to be very disappointed when he realises it's for me and no him. So after you place an order with Gently Used Book Club, they actually email you with a few different questions. So they ask you like, are there any authors that you are looking to read from? Are there any authors that you've read all their books you really don't want to receive? What's the last few books that you've read that you've really enjoyed so that you can try and pick books with maybe similar tropes or s some similar plot points and um, that they think you would enjoy. They ask you like is there any books that you own physically that you definitely would not want to receive um, and I just think that that's brilliant because there's so many of these book boxes now that I've received where I've just gotten duplicates or they'll say like send me your goodreads and you'll send it and then you still get a duplicate and um, like that you always take a bit of a punt when you buy a mystery box, I do appreciate that but I think that the fact that Gently Used Book Club goes the extra mile to hand carry you books that they think you're going to like based on your preferences is absolutely fantastic and it was really nice to just have a wee chat with somebody about books and obviously like they enjoy books as well, their whole business is books so it's nice to just have a wee gibber and be like oh I like reading this da 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 and so that was just really lovely and it made it feel very personal which I enjoyed and I really enjoyed Gently Used Book Club's ethos so having a wee read through their website like I always do when I do this series they seem to care about the environment a hell of a lot more than some of the other book boxes that I've purchased for this series like and that's the whole point of me doing this series so it was really nice to finally feel like I've found a book box who really mirrors my values when it comes to book consumption. So they get most of their books through charity shops, which means they're obviously buying them second hand, so they have a great impact on the environment and they're also helping charities. But they also accept book donations as well, which I think is really excellent. And I've got some books sitting that need to be donated, so I'm definitely going to donate them to these guys. And I think that that's great. Like, if you get this box regularly and you've read them and you don't want to keep the books, they'll recommend you to donate them back to them so that they can be re-gifted and given to somebody else. Which I just think is fantastic and I've never seen another book box who does that. So I, I was really chuffed with that. They also say that if you sign up to the monthly subscription, and you receive a book that you already own or you've already read then in your next box they'll basically send you a, a different book instead and you can send them that one back so it seems pretty risk free that if you get something and you've already read it then you know that you can get that swapped out and you're not going to be wasting your money and I really like that 
you can redonate your books after you've read them if there are no books that you would like to keep on yourself so obviously you are welcome to like it's no a prerequisite but I just think it's brilliant like it feels like you're part of this big book sharing community as opposed to it just being like a one-off subscription so I've been really really excited for this box to arrive because I just really like their values and what the company seems to stand for and so I'm excited to see what books it is that they've picked for me. Without further ado my gibbering let's say uh, open the baby up. Oh, so this is how the box arrives. Also forgot to mention, but all of the packaging that they use for this book box is 100% fully recyclable as well. I really love when books come like this and it's got the string and the brown paper. I don't know why, but it just is really exciting to me. <laughs> Let's see what my first one is. So the first book that I've received is Enchanty by Gita Trelise. I've just had a wee quick read to the back and this actually sounds really good so I'll just read it to you. Paris in 1789 is a city filled with beggars, thieves, revolutionaries and magicians. 17 year old orphan Camille has to provide for her frail sister and her volatile brother. They survive by using the petty magic she learnt from the mother, transforming scrap metal into coins. When things take a turn for the worse, Camille must pursue a more dangerous mark. The glittering court of Louis V, Louis VIII and Marie Antoinette's Versailles. Using magic, Camille transforms herself into a glamorous baroness, but she is swept up into a dizzying world of riches and finery, suitors and revolutionaries. Camille soon discovers that she is not the only one leading a double life. That sounds amazing. Definitely a book that I would pick up for myself. I know it's a wee bit historical, but I feel like I quite like that setting. It's like Lemas and Caraval have had a baby and I'm buzzing for this one. <laughs> And then the second book I've received, received is Strange Practice by Vivian Shaw. And this says, meet Greta Helsing, Doctor to the Undead, sold already. After inheriting a highly specialised and highly peculiar medical practice, Dr Helsing spends her days treating London's undead for a host of ills. Vocal strain and banshees, arthritis and barrel whites and entropy in mummies. Although, barely making ends meet, this is just the quiet, supernatural, adjacent life of Greta's dreamed of since childhood. But when a sect of murderous monks emerges, killing humans and undead alike, Greta must use all her unusual skills to keep her supernatural clients and the rest of London safe. That sounds amazing, and again, another book that I would definitely pick up for myself. I feel like this is like the exact crossover, you know, like funny dark fantasy that I really enjoy so I am really chuffed to this one in case you can't tell by how buzzing my face is. <laughs> Let's see what that next one is. This one is The Psychology of Time Travel by Kate Maskrenhas. And so this one says, 1967, four female scientists invent a time travel machine but then one of them suffers a public breakdown and puts the whole project in peril. 2017, Ruby knows her granny B was the scientist who went mad, but they never talk about it until they receive a message from the future warning of an elderly woman's violent death. 2018, a jet found the dead woman at work, shot in the head, door bolted from the inside, and now she can't get it out of her mind. Who was she, and why is everyone determined to cover up her murder? That is another one that I would definitely pick up for myself. Like, it seems sort of like feminist literary fiction meets fantasy, which I really enjoy. I read Once in Future Witches, which was sort of like similar vibes, I feel. Um, so I that's definitely another one that I would have chosen for myself. Three for three so far. And then before we go into the last one, we've got a couple of wee bookmarks here, which are just the extras and a nice wee postcard there as well. And that's a Dungeons and Dragons postcard. Last book. Let's see if it's going to be four for four. So this is R.S. Ford, A Demon in Silver, book one of War of the Archons. And this says, In a world where magic has disappeared, rival nations vie for power in a continent devastated by war. When a young farm girl, Livia, demonstrates magical powers for the first time in a century, there are many across the land that will kill to obtain her power. Duke Goltham's Tallymen, the blood-soaked Quillotine Brotherhood and cynical mercenary Jost and Cade are all searching for Livia and the power she wields. But Livia finds that guardians come from the most unlikely places and that the old gods are returning to a world they abandoned. Oh, that sounds excellent as well. 
And again, another book I would totally pick for myself. So they've managed to get four for four. Oh, I can't tell you how exciting this is because I don't think I've ever had a book box where it's been multiple books where I want to read every single book, to be honest. There's always been like one or two where I'm like, mm, I maybe wouldn't pick that up for myself. But I would read all four of these books. And I feel like they all sort of hit like different parts of my personality and my reading tastes. We've got like a feminist historical one in there which we know I like. We've got like a traditional fantasy with different magical sex which we know I like. We've got like a bit of a like circusy Caravalli inspired magically one and then we've got like a dark fantasy and like slightly humorous which I just feel like sums me up as a reader like that's amazing they've done such a great job picking these books for me I'm so buzzing right let's chat categories so for price I paid 17 99 for this box and I know in the past I have rated boxes lower for being sort of figuring about that price mark and it being used books but I think considering that this company has taken the time to get to know me as a reader and you know email me back and forward a wee bit and connect to me so that they could find out my personal reading tastes and hand curate me for books that they think I'm going to enjoy $17.99 actually isn't that bad like if you think it's maybe taking them an hour to like chat to me, get to know me a wee bit, get to know my reading preferences, have a wee swatch at my goodreads and then like pick my books, like the books, they could maybe cost about eight quid and then they're getting like a ten or an hour. I don't think that that is unreasonable for the lengths that they have went to to hand curate these for me. So I actually think 17 99 is a really phenomenal price for this. So I'm going to get a five for price. For luxury, although this was just a book box and there was no other additional extras, I feel like I'm far more excited about these four books than I have been for Random Tat that I've had in other boxes. Like, I feel like I have been spoiled. I want to read every single one of these books. Like, they have been handpicked for me based on my reading tastes. I've got some additional wee bookmarks and stuff, which you know I am the, a huge fan of, but like, they're recyclable, so if I don't want them, they can go. Um, but like they were just additional extras and no included at all in the price of the box. I feel like I really have been spoiled. Like them taking the time to get to know me and then handpicking me these books and for me to want to read every single book. I think I can only give this a five for luxury. I've never had that experience before to somebody hand curating books for me and I think they've absolutely nailed it. I feel like it would be a cheek to rate it anything less than a five. In terms of quality of the books, like the books are in really good nick. Um, there's only the one of them that has like a slight mark in the spine, but you know that that never bothers me. Like there's not really a great deal of discoloration in pages. There's one tiny wee mark on this bottom one here, but like again, I'm buying used books, that never bothers me. I would pick up tattier copies than this in charity shops myself. So again, I think I'm going to have to give the quality of these a five. Um, and I have never heard of any of these authors. I've never heard of any of these books, to be honest. But um, they did say that they were going to try some off the beaten path books for me because I had says like I do have quite a lot of prominent fantasy on my shelves. But I want to read every single one of them. They're from good well-known publishers so I think again quality is going to be a five. In terms of sustainability I think that everything that this company stands for is absolutely brilliant. I need to give them a point for the way that they source their used books not only from charity shops where they're helping other charities they are like saving these books going to landfill but also because they are encouraging their subscribers to donate books to them as well, which I think is just fantastic and a good way for people like me who have quite a lot of books who would maybe on haul if I didn't enjoy. It's good to know that I can send them off to them and I'm helping support a small business. I think that that is excellent and I know that they are not just going to go to waste. Also, everything that they use is 100% recyclable. Everything was minimally packaged. I don't feel like any of the packaging was excessive and then all the extras and everything that you get in here as well, the wee cards, the bookmarks, everything has been fully recyclable and I do think I need to give them points for the obviously being used books as well. I'm going to give them a five for sustainability to be honest, like I feel like the only thing that they could do to be better at sustainability is maybe to help carbon offset the cost of the delivery. However, I appreciate that they are a small business and they maybe do not have the financial means in which to do that which I totally get but I can't give them anything less than a five like genuinely I feel like 
their values and my values are so closely matched that I would definitely buy for these guys again. Like I think that that has been amazing. And so this is the first 20 out of 20 of the year and I'm so so excited about it. Thank you so much to Jennifer and thank you so so much um, to Gently Use Book Club for sending me all these amazing books that I cannot wait to read. Literally all four of these are going on my shelf and I have not said that doing one of these boxes for quite a long time. Thank you very much for watching, hopefully you're enjoying everything you're reading at the moment. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!